strengthening your mind helps drive your brain to gain fresh facts as well as flesh out newer ways of thinking that will make any knowledge gained more beneficial. Learning to solve problems effectively depends on how much undiscovered knowledge you have stored up in your brain. Stay tuned for more about reaching the limits in brain games. Welcome to episode 85 of the Teacher Rockstar podcast, a place where tips and strategies critical to the new teacher are discussed. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, and today's episode, we're going to be talking about reaching the limits in brain games. But before we dive right in, we have a quick word from our sponsor. Would you like to supercharge your classroom management skills? Well, if you're a brand new teacher, a student teacher, or perhaps you're a teacher returning back into the classroom, the Teacher Rockstar Academy course is for you. Gain the confidence, the skills you'll need to crush it on day one and beyond. So invest in yourself and enroll now at TeacherRockstarAcademy.com. That's TeacherRockstarAcademy.com. And I promise you that this will be a most transformational experience. Okay, let's dive right in. Brain games often apply mathematical strategies that would help your mind develop the ability to think logically and laterally. This definitely makes problem solving an easier task, right? Well, your homely sense, autoology, and science will push your psyche, thereby pushing you to increase your IQ. You really do not have time to waste seeing that your mind can quickly reach its limits this way. Now, let's talk about how do puzzles actually work. Well, a puzzle is a game, problem, or toy that tests a person's ingenuity or knowledge. In a puzzle, the solver is expected to put pieces together in a logical way in order to arrive at the correct or fun solution of the puzzle. Now, there are different genres of puzzles, such as crossword puzzles, word search puzzles, number puzzles, relational puzzles, or logic puzzles. Puzzles are often created to be a form of entertainment, but they can also arise from serious mathematical or logistical problems. In such cases, their solution may be a significant contribution to mathematical research. To be quite honest, many of the puzzle games found online, especially the free ones, can be quite confusing. You're given a short description of some ongoing action, and you have to answer the question. Some of these puzzles are also free online personality tests. I encourage taking these tests as they can help you understand who you truly are. This, in turn, will help promote the learning culture within you. The Oxford English Dictionary, or OED, dates the word puzzle as a verb to the end of the 16th century. Its earliest use documented in the OED was in a book titled The Voyage of Robert Dudley, to the West Indies, 1594-95, to narrated by Captain Wyatt by himself and by Abram Kendall. The word later came to be used as a noun, first as an abstract noun, meaning the state of condition of being puzzled, and later developing the meaning of a perplexing problem. The OED's earliest clear citation in the sense of a toy that tests the player's ingenuity is from Sir Walter Scott's 1814 novel, Waverley, referring to a toy known as a reel in a bottle. The etymology of the verb puzzle is described by OED as unknown. Unproven hypotheses uh, regarding its origin include an old English verb, puzzling, meaning pick out, and a derivation of the verb pose. Now let's pause for a quick word from our sponsor. Imagine having access to educational products, instructional videos, top-rated teacher podcasts, and articles worth over $1,000 for just pennies a day. Now, wouldn't that be awesome? And you know what the best part is? You get a free seven-day trial, so what do you have to lose? Go and check it out. Take a look around. Go to MyTeacherMembership.com. That's MyTeacherMembership.com. And more products will be added each and every month. And I know you're going to love being part of this teacher membership community. Okay, let's talk about some various puzzles. Puzzles can be divided into categories. For example, a maze is a type of a tour puzzle. Some other categories are construction puzzles stick puzzles, uh, tiling puzzles, disentanglement puzzles, lock puzzles, folding puzzles, combination puzzles, and mechanical puzzles. A chess problem is a puzzle that uses chess pieces on a chess board. Examples are the Knight's Tour and the Eight Queens puzzle. There are jigsaw puzzles, 
lateral thinking puzzles, also called situation puzzles, mathematical puzzles, including the missing square puzzle, and many impossible puzzles, puzzles which have no solution, mechanical puzzles, such as the rubrics cube and soma cube, metapuzzles are puzzles which unite elements of other puzzles, paper and pencil puzzles, such as Uncle Art's Funland, connect the dots and nonograms. Also, the logic puzzles, published by Nicoli, Sakudo, Slitherlink, Kakuro, and Philomeno. Peg Solitaire. A puzzle box is a puzzle that can be used to hide something. Jewelry, for instance. Cube and other combination puzzles can be stimulating toys for children or recreational activities for adults. Sangaku, Sliding Puzzles, Sokoban, Spot the Difference, Tangram, Word Puzzles, including Anagrams, uh, Tabletop and Digital Word Puzzles, include uh, Bananagrams, Boggle, Bonza, Dabble, etc. Wheel of Fortune, which is a U.S. game show, is a game show centered on a word puzzle. Well, this brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you got a golden nugget or two from the information presented. Feel free to reach out should you have any questions or comments about this episode. And I want to thank you for listening to the Teacher Rockstar podcast. I'm your host, Steve Hiles. When you get a moment, visit my blog and subscribe to my newsletter for the latest educational research, best practices, and unadvertised free bonuses. Simply go to stevesclassroomresources.blogspot.com. Don't forget to subscribe to us at the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. And if you'd like to support us, please feel free to share our podcast with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review. That's always appreciated. Thanks again. We'll see you same time, same place. And remember, my friend, You got this.